Over the past 13 seasons, Hell's Kitchen has evolved into more than just a restaurant. So good. It's become an institution of higher learning. Rule number one, always turn the stove on before you start cooking. That's seen its share of wannabe jocks. <laughs> Class clowns. You want to see crazy? This is crazy. And of course, bullies. Get out of my face! Shut the up! Let's go step outside. Presiding over these hallowed halls Get out. is one of the most legendary headmasters in culinary history, Chef Gordon Ramsay. There you go. Lovely. Many students have tried to follow the curriculum. They won't stick. That's why it's called no stick. Stand back. But only a select few have graduated with honors. Natasha. And now, school is back in session. Here we go again. But for the first time in a story tenure. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Chef Ramsay faces an incoming class. I'll look him right in his eyes. I'm not scared of Chef Ramsay. More passionate. I want a cigarette and a W. Really? Can you provide me with that? You fucking get me. What the f And you can't even burn? You're not a chef. Stop talking over me. You don't have the balls to take over. And more emotional. I gotta do this to me. Than he has ever encountered before. You okay? I'm gonna hit them, figure this shit out. But the dramatic lows. Oh, what a nightmare. This is insane. What in the disgusting? Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh my god! In 14 seasons of Hell's Kitchen, I have never set foot in these doors. Are topped only by the thrilling highs. <laughs> wow. In the most exhilarating. Yeah. So fun. Heart pounding. <laughs> oh my god, there's just blood everywhere. <laughs> Wildly entertaining. <laughs> Season of Hell's Kitchen yet. I'm done with you. I'm done with you, and I'm done with him. So don't be tardy. Hurry up! Because when the bell rings, class will be in session. Wait until your pan is hot. Hot pan. As this new crop of chefs makes its way to Hell's Kitchen. Hi everyone, I'm What's Brandy. Up? Brandy. Brandy. <laughs> Not everyone gets off on the right foot. Well, we speak English. Right? <laughs> what the hell is Monique thinking? You know, we're not even like 10 seconds out the gate yet. She's already asking stupid questions. I just hope she can cut. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what kind of I'm retired military for you about here. You got me. getting good. <laughs> this is definitely a dream come true for me, but I'm a little nervous. This is worse than combat, I think. Yeah, let's do this! How about that? Woo! Clocked. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Attention chefs! What? Yeah. <laughs> Where's it coming from? <laughs> there he is! Oh! <laughs> it was like seeing an angel. I thought he was just gonna have like wings just pop out of the back of his chef coat and be like. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've designed this year's Hell's Kitchen to be the most challenging ever. Before you can enter, I need to know that all of you are 100% committed to being here. Yes, Chef. Yes, yes, Chef. Good. Oh, no. Now let me tell you why I'm up here. You'll be jumping off the roof and landing right down there. Uh. Oh, It's kind of like, eh, f it. I'm leaving. 
Oh my God, we're gonna die. There's no way this is really gonna happen. I'm breaking my neck and I'm going to the ambulance. Let's go, guys. Who's up first? So, volunteers, let's go. Young man, um, first name? Enrique. Enrique, come on down, please. Uh, a young lady with a blouse, blonde. Yeah, first name is? Ruth. Ruth. Let's go. Quick. Yeah, give him some form of encouragement as well. Yeah. Let's, go. let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, Enrique. Come on, Enrique. We need you. We need you, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, oh. Did you see Enrique? This dude looked like he his pants. Right, almost there. You got it. <sighs> Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Come on, Enrique. Oh my God. We're actually jumping off of a roof. Panic attack, here we go. Make your way to Hell's Kitchen. Good okay. job, huh? Thank you. Way to do it, brother. Ruth, how are you feeling? Scared. Really, really scared. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. To join Enrique in the kitchen? On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Wow. Oh, way to do it. Great job. Amazing. Into the kitchen. Well done. Great job. Thank you. Good job, Ruth. You've earned it. I can't believe this is happening, but I'm going to do whatever I have to do to win. He can tell me to jump off the roof onto a concrete surface. I'm game for anything. Let's bring it on, baby. Right, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Your chefs, Enrique and Ruth, are stunt people. What? Oh, my God. Great job. Oh, thank God we don't have to do it. That was crazy. I'm very impressed that all of you are 100% committed. You're all <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I'd like all of you to take a big, deep breath because it's time to cook me your signature dish. Get inside. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Pick it up. Come on. Let's go. Get through there. I'm in Hell's Kitchen. I can't even believe it. It's women versus men in the Signature Dish Challenge. And for the first time ever, they are cooking in Hell's Kitchen in front of a live audience. You need a drink after this? Let's go! I watch a lot of race car drive. And you got to be a team until the last lap. Butter? Say butter? Right here, butter, butter. Awesome. You already know. And then once that last lap come, I'm definitely putting somebody right into the wall because I'm going to win. Oh, I need those. Gentlemen, you have 20 minutes to go. Let's go, Blue. They're rooting for you. Hot behind you. Hot coming here. Hot, hot. Same time. Same time. Cooking is my life, and I have worked my ass off to get to where I am. Can you help me with this? I have cooked this dish a thousand and one times, and if I it up, I'm going to kill myself. One minute to go. Let's go. Where are the plates at? 
Come on, y'all. We gotta win this one. Come on, baby girl. You can do it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your stunning dishes we judge on a scale of one to five, with one being an absolute disaster and five being a truly outstanding dish. Clear? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Okay, let's go. First up in the signature dish challenge, Brooklyn chef Josh hopes that his seared scallops will get the blue team off to a strong start. Seared scallops with an apple fennel slaw. <laughs> the sauce scene is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It's awesome, chef. You me it's in really the room awesome. five minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, you're like, right here, you talk to me, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. Still looks great to see it. It's a smart dish. Thank you, chef. Four out of five. Good job. Thank you, chef. <laughs> now, it's up to Dallas line cook Sarah to make a good first impression with her filet mignon. The temperature's beautiful. Thank you, chef. Delicious. Four out of five. Thank good you, chef. job. With both teams off to an impressive start, culinary student Christine's scallops with polenta cake. Delicious. Four out of five. Good job. Are up against executive chef Brendan's tempura soft shell crab with ginger garlic sauce. Crab. Nicely done. Four out of five. As the dead heat continues, will Dallas line cook Michelle or private chef Nick break the pattern and the tie? I have a pan roasted duck breast with pepper and sherry gastrique. Ducks cooked beautifully. A solid three. Good job. Thanks, Chef. Uh, how old are you, Chef? 22. 20. Young? Mm -hmm. Wow. I've only been doing this for four years, and everyone else has been doing it for like 25 or whatever. Huevos, rancheros, quail egg, and then queso fresco. Love the little elements. Great finesse. Four out of five. Well done. I may be young, but people should watch out for me. With the women now leading by a point, Maryland sous chef Mika is ready to show off with her. Shrimp cake with asparagus and peach salsa. Wow. It isn't half bad. It's all bad. Oh. One out of five. Let's just let this be over. Mika's low score paves the way for Tennessee banquet chef Randy to take the lead. When was the last time you had a disaster in your banquets? Right now, and I'm not there. What's under the dome? This is a uh, salmon with a raspberry bourbon barbecue sauce. I mean, it looks incredibly plain, Jane. It actually tastes quite delicious. <laughs> you got a solid three there. Good job. Thank you. With the men leading by a single point, the blue team's momentum rests with... Millie. Millie. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and you're from where, bud? Philly. So, <laughs> Philadelphia. Millie from Philly. Yes, sir. Right. And is that a stick on or is that... Oh, no, 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 no. It's real. Yeah, that's a lot of hard work. Okay. Does it ever catch fire? Uh, no. No. Because <laughs> no. it is long. Yes. Huh? Yes, yes. What's under the dome? Uh, I have a, a seafood mac and cheese with a citrus gummilata. Wow. So it's a posh mac and cheese. Yes, sir. I put heavy cream, add a little eggs, and butter. It's good. Three. Good job. Thank you. Hoping to put the red team back on top with her rainbow trout is an executive chef from Virginia, Megan. This is stunning. Thank you. Definitely uh, a five for five. Good job. Thank you. With the first perfect score going to Megan, the women are back in the lead. Up next, executive chef Michael versus food truck owner and chef Chrissa. I was in the cookie aisle and I was looking at cookies. What in the f is that? <laughs> It's men versus women in the signature dish challenge. And food truck chef Chrissa is trying to hold on to the ladies' one point lead. What's under the dome? But her dish has left Chef Ramsay asking a simple but important question. What in the f is that? That is ginger crusted chicken. I was in the cookie aisle. I was trying to get ideas, and I have ginger cookies. Ginger, ginger cookie ginger crusted cookie. chicken breast. Yep, that's what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were inspired in the cookery aisle, not the pet food aisle. 
Oh. Oh, really? Oh, oh no. Oh, my God, really? Oh, I mean, <laughs> that is hideous. Sorry. One out of five. I'm not really used to people spitting out my food, so it was very embarrassing. Uh, young man, first name is? Michael Chef. What do you do for a living? I work for a Jewish kosher, upscale uh, senior living. Anyone ever passed away eating your food? <laughs> not that I know of. Not that you know of. What's under the dome? Chef, I have an herb roasted chicken breast. Wow. You know, it's solid. It's not spectacular. Um, three out of five. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. It's OK. I knew it. With Chris's chicken losing the lead for the women, New York line cook Allison's red snapper. Sauce is runny. Three. Comes up short against New Jersey executive chef Adam's rack of lamb. Lamb's cooked perfectly. Thank you, chef. Yeah. I'm going to give that four out of five. Thank well, you very much. Chef. Thank you, chef. Good job. The men now have a two point lead over the women, but Atlanta line cook T is looking to put the red team back on top with her coffee crusted flank steak. It's just suddenly dawned what T stands for. Terrific. Great job. Five out of five. Thank you. The women have posted another perfect score, and now New Jersey sous chef Cameron is hoping to reclaim the lead with his coriander rubbed rack of lamb. Lamb's cooked nicely. Four out of five. Good job. Going into the final round of signature dish, the men have a one point lead and are counting on Miami sous chef Brett's. Bone in, field chopped salting boca, served over a smashed fingerling potato. It's rustic, uh, but it's got charm. Delicious. Solid three. Good job. Thank you, sir. The red 